The Moving Waters of the Sea. Heaven Letter Number 5495. December 10, 2015. I hear you ask me in many ways, with or without words, ask. Dear God, please tell us what is most important for us to know about how to serve you. How do we serve you and reveal you to all who long with all their hearts to serve you, and all as well who do not as yet long to serve you? Dear ones, you serve me and the world very well when you enjoy this life on earth. Enjoy everything, every aspect of life, even those aspects you would not choose. Of course, you do not possibly know how you can enjoy that which you do not personally welcome. No one expects you to jump for joy when you feel loss of a loved one or any heartache. Nor are you to pretend you are brave. First, cry as you must to express your heartbreak. Second, and last, remind yourself that you are living life on earth, and you are being tempered the same way steel is tempered. Hear me out. The tempering that life gives you makes you strong so that you will become responsible and capable of letting go of boundaries. Without this tempering, how and why would you ever let go of the boundaries of the past when they give you comfort and ease? In addition, this tempering that life gives you also makes you full of evolving understanding of others. This understanding is a gift to you and all those around you, for, gradually, you attain greater heights that others will rise to. Whether consciously or unconsciously, others' lives will grasp something of your heightened consciousness, and it becomes theirs as well. Little by little, or perhaps by giant steps, you become like the waves of the ocean. What is as flexible and absorbent as the sea? The ocean sea is unwavering and strong. The ocean is strong in energy, and its tides can overwhelm the shores. The ocean is innocent. It has no malice, nor is it sentimental. It is a super ocean. It offers beauty and movement, and reflects the sun. It reflects the moon, and the ocean reflects itself in your eyes. The world is dependent upon the moving waters of the sea. The ocean is not in competition with anything at all. It is impartial. Oceans do as oceans do. The ocean is ocean. There is never a moment when the ocean is something else. An ocean is always ocean. There are many aspects to the ocean. Young children play in the ocean. They make mud pies with ocean and sand and build castles. Children learn to swim in the ocean and to surf on it. The ocean buoys human beings and ships. The ocean offers you itself to cool off in. Your body can cut through the ocean like a knife through butter. The ocean is a gift to humankind. And, so, you are you, a gift like the ocean, if you only knew. You are firm and seamless like the ocean. You also are soft and give joy and enlightenment to the world. The world can avail itself of you. You lead others nearer to me, whether they know it or not. They don't need to know, for they are nearer. The ocean does not ponder. It serves. And you, as an ocean of love, also reflect me. Consider me the shore that the ocean delivers people to. The ocean of high spirits welcomes all. It does not pick and choose. The ocean doesn't question, and the ocean doesn't debate with itself or anything else. The ocean serves, and that is it. The ocean doesn't object to what life asks of it. It remains ocean. The ocean doesn't pretend to be a mountain or a valley or anything else but what the ocean is. The ocean, in its fullness, simply serves. The same can be said for all the mountains and trees and flowers and dreams. The same can be said for you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org